I'm Sally Cox and I've known and worked with Bert Whistle for over 20 years. Mass is editor, I've been the lucky recipient of all his new manuscripts that he's sent into Boozy and Hawks. And my job has been to act as a sort of midwife and bring his new musical children into the world and then always working collaboratively with him to convey both accurately and clearly his intentions and to pick up perhaps inaccuracies which he didn't quite intend. The challenge and the joy of working on his manuscripts is that despite his distinctive musical building blocks, each work has a new concept which presents different problems, different things to explore. Often I had to actually be creative in how on earth I could translate the manuscript into a note set score. And one particular recent example was with the large orchestral piece Deep Time. When the idiosyncrasy wasn't actually his concept, but how he presented his score. Well, he wrote it in the way he thought it, which was in the multi-layers um, that it was written in. So if the horn was working with the second violin, the second violin wandered up in the score to meet the horn. But this layout was different on each of the 62 pages. So you couldn't just say to the person setting the score, always put the trumpet above the horn or vice versa. I thought, how on earth are we going to make sure that in the process of setting the score and proofing it, we don't miss an instrument out in the reordering? So I decided to colour code it each family of instruments had a different colour. You have to be a bit careful in this sort of instance because he, there are many works where he likes to play theatre with the instruments and bring forward, say, one instrument to be soloist. So this is a first proof where every detail has been checked and there are lots of other red corrections and things I've had to ask Harry and discuss with him, some of them marked in blue. Then there's the final print, what it turned out like in the end. Harry was actually much amused by my colouring and uh, promised he would never do it again, but sadly he hasn't been put to the test.